The overall goal of this experiment is to evaluate how pesticide residues in the environment affect individual honeybees and the natural condition of beehive colonies. The main advantage of this method is that it surveys the effects of pesticide or other contaminants of interest on both individual honeybees and the whole colonies. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the manipulation of pupae is difficult because they are fragile. Demonstrating the procedure will be Ke Zhong Yu, a PhD student from my laboratory. Prior to the experiment, feed each colony a liter of 50% sugar syrup. Replenish the food reservoir weekly. A healthy colony will have nine frames of bee combs and one queen laying eggs. To begin, locate the queen in the colony and replace at least one frame on her side of the colony with an empty frame. Then, insert the queen excluders to isolate the queen to a four-frame section containing at least one empty frame. The next day, check the frames for freshly laid eggs and put the eggs apart from the queen for 72 hours. Then, remove these frames, brush off the worker bees, and prepare to treat the larvae in the brood cells. For each treatment, cover 50 randomly selected one-day-old larvae in the frame with transparent slides. Secure the slides with thumbtacks. Then make identifying information on the slides with permanent marker. Now, using BLD warmed to 35 degrees Celsius, make different concentrations of PPN treatment ranging from 0.1 to 100 parts per million in 100 milliliter volumes. For the next three days, treat the brood cell groups.